Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Ronnie Wu with The Delicious Cook, and we are here on Kondao Island. Let me tell you, this place is truly paradise. It is absolutely gorgeous, and the sun is even out today. So I'm really excited to see what the island looks like when the sun does come out. To make things even more awesome, we have a two-story villa at the Six Senses Resort. We have our own private pool, a beautiful outdoor shower in the back, and we are literally right on the beach. There's supposed to be a lot of good restaurants on site. We're also going to check out a couple local restaurants around town. I have a feeling we're going to be chillaxing and enjoying some good food on this trip. Life is good, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? So we're enjoying breakfast at the resort's main restaurant and I'm having a little bit of a sensory overload. I've already hit up the fresh fruit station. They have some of the best mangoes and rambutans I've ever tasted in my life. I hit up the fresh pastry section and they have some killer donuts. I'm about to hit up the pho and congee section and that looks amazing. I think I'm in heaven right now. After we enjoy an indulgent and delicious breakfast, we're going to check out some of the activities and explore the island a little bit. So stay tuned. So we just arrived in the little town on Kandao Island, and believe it or not, this place used to be the site of a ton of prisons that the French would send their Vietnam captives to. Obviously when the French left, the prison stopped operating. Now it's a bunch of prisons that you can see from the outside, a museum, and a couple of military bases. So we're going to check those out, we're also going to check out their small local market, and then end up at a local seafood restaurant called Tri Kai. It's supposed to be really, really good. I'm super excited, so let's get started. They even have a stone fist, which is highly poisonous if you step on them. They've got a few stingrays in there, and they also got a lot more uh, different rock bottom fish in there. So they 
start off with the stock made with cabbage, vegetables, and some green chives. And then we add all the seafood in there, and it magically becomes a seafood stock. And it is incredibly flavorful. I'm loving this. This crab is incredibly delicious and it's extremely fresh. Maybe because it was alive just a few minutes ago. <laughs> so the town in Condal is actually really small, but it was really cool to see and I'm glad we did it. We're gonna head back to the Six Senses after we eat this. I'll see you guys back there. What's up everyone? I'm Ronnie Wu with The Delicious Cook and we're doing another cooking class except this time on Condal Island. Today we have Hun, which is our chef, and this is actually our butler that sort of watches over us and takes care of us uh, at, during our stay. So today we're going to be making crispy pancakes, yes, right? which my cake. Uh, Vietnamese hand rolls, yes. uh, pho, ga? Yes. pho, pho, ball, pho, ball. pho ball, which yes. is beef pho, yeah, beef pho. Um, super delicious. And, <laughs> um, and then we're going to do a mango flambe, yes, sir. right? Alright, let's get started. So to make your spring hand rolls, you want to first dampen the rice paper wrap with a little bit of water. Then you want to add your ingredients. You want to place the shrimp pink side down, some chopped lettuce, some sautéed vegetables, some rice noodles, a slice of pork, and then you just want to tightly roll it. But before you finish rolling it, you want to add a sprig of chive, and voila, you're done. All right, we're gonna give these guys a taste test. Mm. You get the heat from the sauce. The spring roll is incredibly fresh. You're gonna taste the shrimp and the pork, and then all of those fresh ingredients, such as the salad and the sauteed vegetables. Delicious. So to make your crispy rice pancakes, you want to first saute your seafood. Here we have some squid and some scrimps. Next we want to add our crispy rice pancake batter, give that a little swirl around the pan. Next we're going to finish adding our vegetables, we have some bean sprouts, some mushrooms, some chives, and some onions. Then we're just going to cover it to give it a good steam. When it's done steaming, we're going to finish crisping up the pancake, fold it in half. Mm. It actually looks like it's a hearty meal, and it is, but it's actually very light tasting. You get the bean sprouts, the mushrooms, the spring onions, and the onions, and then you also get the calamari and the shrimp, so it's kind of got your proteins, it's got your vegetables, awesome combination, and this dipping sauce is a lot sweeter than the dipping sauce that we use for the Vietnamese hand rolls, so I'm loving this. We have our grilled onions here. Cinnamon stick. Our grilled shallots. We have coriander and star anise here. So now while the stock is boiling and all those spices and grilled onions and shallots are sort of imparting their flavor into the stock, I'm going to cut the beef. You want to slice the beef as thinly as possible. Now we're going to add some sugar, some salt and pepper, and some fish sauce to the stock we're making here. Mm, you can totally smell the cinnamon, the star anise, and the coriander, and those grilled onions and shallots. Delicious. So we have the stock here, we have the boiling water, now it's time to put this dish together. So we're going to add a little bit of the bean sprouts. We have some rice noodles here. Oh, it's hard to get these guys in there. And a little bit of onions. We're just going to cook these guys until the rice noodles are soft. It's pretty quick. It's like 10 to 20 seconds. Add these guys to a bowl. Then we're going to take a ladle, add a little bit of the raw beef in there. Give these guys a quick dunk in the hot stock. 
We're gonna give these five, ten seconds. We just want to cook the outsides, but keep the insides rare. All right, we're gonna place the beef on top of the noodles, the bean sprouts, and the onions. Add a little bit more stock. Just enough to cover the noodles and the beef. Add some cilantro. Sprinkle of spring onions. Then we're gonna transfer it to a plate. We grab a, a lime here. We have some uh, chilies. A little extra heat if you like that. Thank you, huh? All right, we've got a little sort of a little packet of fresh lettuce, um, fresh greens, and some Thai basil, and it's ready to be served. Bon appetit! Hey, what's up everyone? So we're taking a little departure from our food and culinary related experiences and venturing into the tropical rainforest of Kondau Island. We're supposed to see some long-tailed macaque monkeys um, and giant black squirrels, which are indigenous to the island. I am super excited because I love animals. This is a banyan tree and the seeds are actually planted by some wild animal species inside of a host tree. And uh, it takes about 100 years for the entire banyan tree to overtake the host tree, but once it does, it strangles it and hides the trunk. And there we have it. The long-tailed macaque monkeys. What is going on? We just saw a black squirrel. But since they're high up in the trees, they're hard to see. They kind of look like regular squirrels that are black. <laughs> so we just finished up our walk in the tropical rainforest of Kondau Island, and it was beautiful. It was really nice to get out and moving. And we're going to head back to the Six Senses Resort and relax a little bit. Floating bowl of fruit. Pretty indulgent if I do say so myself. Hey, what's up everyone? So we flew from Kandao Island to Saigon, and then from Saigon to Hong Kong. And now we're at the W Hotel in Hong Kong. We're gonna be here for one night before we head back to the States tomorrow. I just wanna do a little review of our trip. This trip has truly been amazing. Getting to experience a World Heritage Site like Luang Prabang Lao, and experiencing their culture, eating and learning to cook some authentic Luatian cuisine. It was truly amazing. And then venturing to Kandao Island where we got to relax on a gorgeous and almost untouched beach, chowing down and also learning to cook some authentic Vietnamese cuisine. This trip has truly been an unforgettable experience and I really hope you guys had fun following me on my Southeast Asia adventure. Signing off, I'm Ronnie Wu and I'll see you guys next time on The Delicious Cook.